Make sure you stay until the end of the video for the best way to play Tales of Tenorio. Tales of Tenorio is finally coming out after many months of development. I know that some of you guys want to know what the best ways to play Tales of Tenorio is, and I'm here to deliver that for you. There is no particular order of what I would prioritize with my ideas that I have in mind, but it's all up to you to decide what you want to prioritize first. First of all, I would stream the game. It doesn't matter if you have zero subscribers or a thousand subscribers, as long as you stream the game, there might actually be chatters that want to chat with you, and even if it's only one person, at least you have a person there that actually wants to watch your content. If you consistently stream the game, I'm sure that the chatters want to play with you as you grow and grow, and eventually you might actually become a big content creator for Tales of Tenorio. Next is the shiny hunt for your favorite Tenarians. This idea can be a hit or miss because I know that some people don't like the shiny hunt and just care about the story and just want more content in the game, but there might be hardcore fans that actually want to shiny hunt for their favorite Tenarians because honestly, all of the shiny Tenarians that I've seen so far are absolutely amazing. Having your favorite shiny Tenarian in the overworld might actually improve the game for you because like now you own the Tenarian that you want and it's really rare. Next up is to join the official Discord server to play with the community. The Tales of Tenorio community is absolutely amazing. Everyone in the Discord server is very nice and actually have good ideas of what they want in future updates. If you join the Discord server, I'm sure you'll find other players in there that are at the same level as you. And if you network with more and more people, then you'll have more fun with the game because like then you won't have to be alone playing all the time because like you have just a bunch of friends in the back that you can actually play with in different parts of the world. World. Next thing is to interact with other players in the game. Interacting with people in the game will allow you to make more friends along the way and eventually those people are going to keep on recognizing you if you're a positive influence in the community. Interaction is key in every multiplayer game because that allows you to have even more fun compared to just being by yourself and just playing the game and just doing everything solo because eventually I think you might get bored if you do that. The best way to play Tales of Tenorio in my opinion is to just have fun with it. It's all up to you and how you want to pursue your journey in the game. I feel like if you play the game at your own pace, you'll have a lot more fun in my opinion. There are many paths you can take when playing Tales of Tenorio, but personally myself, I feel like I'm just going to go into the game how I want to play instead of guides out there on YouTube, which don't get me wrong, those guides are actually amazing from YouTubers, but I just want to play how I want to play, you know? Don't change your opinion if you want to play the game in a certain way, because you don't have to listen to me because I'm just giving my own personal opinions at the moment but it might change when the full release comes out i have massive respect for the team that made tales of tenorio because they put many hours months into this game and i'm sure that this game will absolutely succeed and probably be on the front page of roblox hopefully thank you for watching this video i'm sure there's other ways to make your experience on tales of tenorio an absolute blast but this is just my opinions for now but i'll see you all next time